Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, I'm sharing with you the drugstore dupes for some of the luxury, expensive, and bougie skincare items on the market. I have scoured the net for some of my favorite dupes for those higher priced but super popular skincare items, and I can't wait to share them with you in today's video. So sit back, relax, and let's fangirl hard over some drugstore dupes. Now, before we cut the waffle and jump into this video, I do just want to call out that I have no issue with luxury, expensive, and bougie skincare skincare. I do think there are products that are worth spending a little bit extra for to access the great results and the great ingredients formulated within them. I love so many luxury and higher priced skincare items, but I think we need to appreciate that not everyone has the budget, not that they want to spend or splurge extra on their skincare routine, and so it might feel like they're missing out. Well, I'm here to tell you there is no need to miss out because whatever your budget, I find that just about all luxury skincare items have an affordable dupe. It's just all about finding them. And I pieced together five luxury products and some real like for like dupes. So if you feel like you're missing out, these are the products that you can access and get those great results and ingredients in your skincare routine. I'm going to start with the Then I Met You Living Cleansing Balm. This has been like a viral sensation all across the net for the past year. It costs £40, which is reasonably up there when it comes to a cleanser, let alone a balm cleanser. However, it is formulated with some gorgeous oils, which I do think, you know, they're not the cheapest ingredients to formulate with, which is why it probably commands a slightly higher price point. The reason I tried this was Caroline Hirons. She called this her best cleanser of 2020, and so I just had to try it because everything she recommends has worked wonderfully on my own skin. I reached for this, and I did love it. There's something quite special about this, even if you can get past that expensive price point, there's something special about this product. It smells divine. It's like a spa in a balm, which I love. And it did just melt off everything that was clinging onto my skin from the waterproof makeup, SPF, dirt, debris, pollution, gone like that. And it left a really nice feel to the skin, not stripped or dried, but also not greasy and with a film. I honestly thought it'd be really hard to find a dupe for this product because it is so special. And then I stumbled across this. This is the Juno Skin Clean 10 Balm. Love this. This is also a viral sensation on Instagram. So if you want that Instagram worthy, you know, viral product, you're not missing out by not going for the Then I Met You because this is just as popular and hyped. And I love it. It's a third of the cost, which is fantastic. And it smells just as gorgeous. It's a dupe because whilst this is fragranced, so was the original, the Then I Met You Balm. So if you are looking for a fragrance-free cleanser, neither of these will appeal particularly. But I'll leave a link to some of my favourite cleansers in a video. Um, so you can choose a fragrance-free option from that if you want. This does it all. It melts everything down. It blends beautifully into the skin if you want to do a facial massage. Then you add water, it turns into a milky emulsion and washes away like that. With it goes all of the makeup, SPF, dirt, debris. So good. I honestly cannot rave about this product enough. And I think having used both, this is probably actually slightly better and slightly more effective than the Then I Met You balm. And overall, just a standout, ding, 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 10 out of 10 product that doesn't need to break the bank. I've left a link to the Juno Co product below as I will for all of the products if you do want to check it out look at the price point wherever you are in the world and of course make a purchase if you are totally sold on them now let's talk about the second product I found a fantastic affordable dupe for and I'm going to talk about the glow recipe watermelon niacinamide glow dew drops these are honestly like a sensation online you can't watch a single YouTube video without people fangirling hard over this product Ultimately, I'm not actually a huge fan. I tried it because I tried the whole Glow Recipe range and it all left me a little bit meh. I think the price point is ridiculously expensive for the ingredients and how it's formulated. And nothing really grabbed me about the line in particular. I'd say these watermelon glow drops are probably the best of the line. If you wanted to try one thing from them, I'd say this is probably the best. But all told, I just don't think it's the best formulated product. In here, you've got niacinamide, which I think is doing the heavy lifting and how they're justifying that glow tag on the product. You've also got some nice seed oils, which I did find quite so soothing to the skin. Didn't break me out, which was really great as I'm quite acne prone. And gave a nice finish to the skin. But overall, the amount of fragrance in here was a little bit overpowering and it just left me a little bit cold and flat. And I didn't think it was the best product I've tried. However, one product I did try, which is a great dupe for this product and just performs so, so much better, is by K-Secret, which is a new Korean skincare brand. And this is a calamine dermat secret serum. 
I love this product because not only do you have those seed oils in here, you've also got the niacinamide. So in that case, it is like a dupe. But you've also got a reasonably high amount of calamine in here, which is calming, soothing, and honestly just did wonders for my skin. This is unfragranced, unlike the um, Glow Recipe one. So it's great if you're looking for fragrance-free skincare. It's more affordable. And all over, I just found I got better results from this. These are a reasonably new brand. So I will leave a link below if you do want to check them out. You get more product you for a lower price point and honestly it's just fantastic it goes on as a really nice silky pink serum that's not dyes that's the calamine in here and I think this is a great option for anyone that's suffering with some sensitivity in their skin maybe some redness because it's got some great calming and soothing ingredients such as panthenol on top of all the other good stuff going on and I think it's just a wonder serum for anyone that wants that calming soothing but with a little bit of brightness from that niacinamide now let's move on to the Laneige sleeping masks they had their original water sleeping mask but since that went into like viral sensation territory they've launched various iterations some with colorants in some with slightly different formulations i've tried a couple of them now and overall nothing did nothing for my lips did nothing for the hydration i was just totally underwhelmed for the price point the average price of this is 20 pounds which is reasonably up there in terms of a lip balm especially because i don't feel you're getting a whole lot of benefit from it a lot of them are packed full of alcohol, which can dry the lip and dry the skin. They've also got fragrance. So if you're looking for fragrance free, you're not finding it with this brand because the fragrance is so, so much. And of course, you do have some other potential irritants in them. So overall, I'm just not totally sold on the brand. I do, however, have some amazing drugstore and affordable dupes. I'm going to recommend the Lano Lips Lip Balm. I love these because A, the formulation so much better. In here, you've got some really, really rich emollients that are going to protect protect and nourish the skin on the lip. If you put this on before you go to bed, you'll wake up with that gorgeous soft lip feeling because it's going to be nourishing as you sleep. I absolutely love them and they're cruelty free unlike Laneige, which isn't confirmed as cruelty free, which just makes it a ding, 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 win, win, win. On top of all of that, they are half the price for the same amount of product. So like totally, totally dupe worthy. And I love pretty much all of the Lana lips range. I also am falling hard at the moment for this. This is the Nux. Is it Nux Nui? My French is awful. So if you, you know, if you know how to pronounce this, you can read me to filth in the comments. This is their honey lip balm. I love this product. This is actually a new, um, this is a new tube that I got maybe like two weeks ago. And honestly, so, so good. So this combines the power of honey, which is fantastic as a humectant. It's a natural healer. And um, it's one of nature's most powerful healing ingredients. And I love it. You put this on before you go to bed. And honestly, you wake up with the best pow in the morning so so good this is only fractionally cheaper than the Laneige sleeping mask but because of the great formulation and the ingredients been so much better I class it as a dupe because it's just a better product and you do save a little bit of coin and um, when it comes to this also cult beauty where I bought this from have um, a code on at the moment which I'll link below it's not an affiliate code of mine I just found it online so you can get an additional 20% off if you do want to purchase this this definitely 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 worth the price point now shall we talk you youth to the people. This as a brand, you know, has a cult following. People adore the brand. I totally understand that. None of the products worked that well for me. I did a whole review on them, which I'll link up there if you want to know more about the brand. I don't think any of the products particularly appealed to me, but their Adapter Gen moisturizer is probably one of the most popular. It's also one of their most expensive. This is £50 for just over 50 mil of product. That is like unheard of expensive when it comes to moisturizers. When you look at the ingredients, it does have some really nice ingredients such as jojoba oil. In here, you've also got some shea butter and some squalane. Those are ingredients which are great in terms of adding hydration to the skin, nourishing and protecting the skin. But really, are they enough to justify that £50 price tag for such a small amount of product? I probably think not. And one of the products that I've reached for recently that I'd say is almost a like for like dupe, but for an absolute fraction of the cost, is it's from a brand called Face Theory, which as if you watched this channel before, you know I absolutely adore and fangirl over. And they're a Venthia moisturizer. This is fantastic because it combines the shea butter that was in the Adaptogen uh, moisturizer by Youth of the People with some other gorgeous seed oils and butters. This is deeply nourishing and has such a nice formulation to give you all that hydration with the added oils and butters to just deeply nourish the skin. It comes in at around a quarter of the cost of the Youth of the People product. 
especially because they gave me a discount code, which again, isn't affiliate code at all. I get no commission from it, but I want to share it with you in case you do want to get 25% off. So I'll leave it on the screen up there. And that brings the price point right down. So this is a super affordable, yet utterly gorgeous, deeply nourishing, hydrating, and fantastic moisturizer. I think having used both of them, I probably prefer the um, Face Theory product because I find it blends a little bit better into the skin and has a bit more of a longer lasting impact in terms of hydration than the use of the people one. But what really stands out is the fact that it's so, so much more affordable if you're looking for that really rich and nourishing product. I would love, love, love to know what you think about any of the dupes recommended today, or are you just a holy grail convert fan of the original product and don't want to try anything different? I'd love to know, so sound off in the comments below. If you've got any really great dupes, because I do want to make this into a bit of a series where we talk more about dupes on the channel. So if you've got any really great affordable dupes for some of the more high-end products, please, please, please leave me them in the comments below because I'd love to try them out. While you're down there, if you like this video and want to see this series continue, hit that like button to let me know. And wherever you are in the world, guys, stay safe, stay well, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. Bye.